So, my name is uh, Doctor, or uh, you can call me Batman if you'd like. And um, yeah, as you might know, I kind of make a lot of videos about Mongolian music, uh, commentaries on songs, and stuff like that. And uh, a few days ago, uh, I saw this uh, video "Dance of Vulture" by Thirteenth Bell. And because I had my phone in my hand and it didn't have very good uh, speaker, uh, I listened to it like uh, for 30, 40 seconds, and then I go, like, ah. and then a few days later, my friend uh, J Man, uh, he contacted me and then said, hey, hey, you should do a reaction of this video. It's cool. It's about that. And then I was like, ah, oh, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, I was uh, thinking about this uh, song. Just uh, what could be the concept behind this stuff. And then uh, today, my uh, another friend from Italy, she uh, texted me and then said, hey, I tried to translate this uh, text. Can you check it out? And I was like, yeah, sure. And then when I read the text, I was like, ah, yeah, that makes sense. Now I have this impression that people are interested in the song. So I'm doing a reaction video on this. And at the same time, I might give like a few countries uh, on certain details here and there. So yeah, let's go and uh, let's click on the video. Ah! Calibras Entertainment. Ah! Oh my God, there is explosion. Thirteenth bell. Arangor torhang. That's uh, how I would say. Yeah, the mofo is there. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm so angry, but I... just have to uh, say, uh, having these e earphones to listen to the song, it makes so much difference. <laughs> yeah, and I have to say, a lot, I saw a lot of um, cultural uh, uh, details, subtle details, which some people might be interested in, but I know, so I'll skip, to, uh, skip that uh, for the next uh, for the. <laughs> I don't like this uh, translation, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not supposed to criticize other people's work, especially translators. Uh, I'm a translator myself. Uh, it says, a shaman of the dark spirit, but it, in its original text it means uh, a black shaman of, of, the, of the eternal sky. Uh, that's how I would have tr uh, translated it, but yeah, sorry, uh, and I, uh, I'm not, I'm not, uh, how to say, I'm not trying to attack on the translator, but that's how I would have translated. And also, yeah, Harotlach and Harotlach, I think they're playing with words. <laughs> yeah. Because har otlach it means a black uh, black shaman, and har otlach it means let me see. Uh, in the first sentence it was muk tingrin har otlach means black shaman of uh, eternal sky, and then in the second line it says uh, let me see the eternal sky. So basically, uh, eternal, uh, shaman of the eternal sky, let me see the eternal sky. <laughs> Mm, yeah, I'm, 
I'm not supposed to say any here things, but I would have translated this line in a much different way. I would have said um, black vulture who uh, weighs, judges or weighs your uh, karma or we would say uh, seed of actions. I made a video about that. Uh, yeah, so uh, judges your fit. Mm, it's like, uh, in, in my opinion, it's about 50%, 60% of the original meaning, but okay. Okay, what are you going to do? <laughs> okay, yeah. so there is a thing. When it comes to translation, sometimes you don't translate word by word because uh, when you translate them word by word, the, the uh, people from the other side, they don't really understand wha what those words mean. Uh, so in this case, they kind of transformed the w words into something understandable so that English speakers would uh, comprehend what is the main idea but uh, oh my god <laughs> it's the meanings are so different I, i'm not trying to attack the translator but okay. <laughs> That guy who's uh, naked uh, walking around in the desert, he has some good uh, immunity system. Uh, that's, it's not the, that uh, warm place to walk around naked usually. But, uh. Sorry, I think I got it wrong because uh, it is possible that these people, they're not in Mongolia, they could be in America because they're not wearing Mongolian clothes, they're wearing some clothes which look to be native people from, from the continent. I could be wrong though.
I saw that here uh, in this part almost as if these um, black figures they're coming after this guy who's running away uh, it's one of the uh, ideas so basically in our uh, traditional belief uh, Mongolian uh, after death uh, usually uh, death or in English they would call it Grim Reaper uh, there's not just one there's like hundreds and thousands and millions of them they come to gather the soul of those who uh, departed uh, and then they would uh, bring the, bring the soul to um, to the judge so that uh, the judge would uh, uh, see how well they lived so these uh, shamans they uh, they kind of remind me of those figures they is said to be a shadowy figure not very bad things just natural ones uh, but at the same time i think they're also comparing it with vultures because vulture uh, it's one of the ways to how to say to say farewell to a dead person by giving their body to the nature so it's kind of connected to the word called jam, which is like a cycle of life uh, when we consume so much meat and then at the end of our life we have to give something back to the nature so that everything would go in the flow in the cycle and uh, when a vulture when animals and especially a vulture when they eat their corpse the, the dead body sometimes the dead body um, rots in a very bad way so bad that even some animals don't eat them and some vultures won't even eat the bones but if the body um, degrades well it's quite a strange way of saying it but yeah and if all animals um, eat everything even the bones then it means the person lived a very well uh, life um, and that's why it is saying that uh, the vulture dances and uh, weighs your sins and fate and karma uh, because yeah to, uh, to know whether if a person was really telling the truth or telling lies you can check it by the by the by the body it is said that um, vulture cleanses um, and uh, it, it will dance cle cleansing the all the impurities so yeah sometimes uh, yeah when they eat um, the dead body they're kind of cleaning all the bad things that were there and also when they eat the body uh, the, uh, and then they would uh, fly to the sky so sometimes we believe that we will become one of the one our bodies will become one with the uh, with the birds and uh, our body will be uh, way up, uh, high up in the sky so that's why they're saying that they they connect the earth and the sky and also they connect death death and life yeah but if you watch this video again from the beginning till the end and uh, read the lyrics you might understand certain uh, uh, some more things about uh, these ideas but I have to say, I would have translated the lyrics in a different way if I had the chance. But uh, but I think it still does the job. Does its job. So the band, they're awesome. I really like it. Um, it's just that uh, my phone uh, speakers were crappy. Now it it sounds much better. Ah uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, maybe support the band somehow and. Um, yeah, just uh, see you next time. Mm, bye.